Six, an important meeting in Fairfax County is happening right now. Officials will decide if they should restrict where data centers should go in the county. WUSA 9 has been informing you for months about what's happening in this controversial debate across Northern Virginia. Data centers have been getting construction approval across the region to help support many companies, but people living there, some of them worry the large high voltage buildings could impact neighborhoods. Our Matthew Torres is live at the Fairfax County Government Center. That's where supervisors are hearing from pretty passionate neighbors, right Matthew? Hey Leslie, that's right. That meeting is happening in the auditorium behind me before supervisors can even vote on the proposed changes that would significantly alter the future of data center development in Fairfax County. They must first hear from the public. About 50 people have signed up to speak, so this meeting could last for quite some time. 21 years in this Alexandria neighborhood, Richard Newman is concerned how a proposed data center development nearby could affect the environment, quality of life and noise. It would be a huge blow to this whole area. He and other residents fight to prevent a 70 foot tall data center from being built at Plaza 500 on Edsel Road. They say just less than 250 feet away from homes. Because of the size and specific zone, the developer can build it through by right, meaning it can pass without the need for county board approval nor public hearings. And I, I think um, ultimately it will severely decrease our property values. And tonight I want to address the proposed. Supporters say data centers can bring in millions of dollars in much needed tax revenue. But as the industry explodes throughout Northern Virginia, the county began looking into ways to minimize impact on communities by restricting location, size and design. We do want to consider some by right uses because that's important to steer these to those districts that we have declared make sense. For the ones that fall in between, we want to have a say in those. Under the proposal, by right wouldn't be allowed in commercial and medium industrial districts. Data centers would be prohibited from being built in zones designed for a combination of homes, shops, offices, and recreational areas. They must be at least half a mile from a metro stop and 250 feet away from a residential district. I wish the distance um, was further. Newman still backs the proposed changes and hopes if approved will take effect immediately. And Plaza 500 would have to go back to the drawing board with their data center plans. And tonight we are hearing from data center industry leaders who are pushing back on claims that data centers have major implications on the environment and the noise as well. Now the big question is if the board approves the plan, if the 10 pending applications for data centers that are still in the process, if those will get grandfathered in or if developers must have to start essentially all over again to comply with the new rules, which also include having more noise studies and following certain aesthetic designs. Leslie. Yeah, a lot to sort out. I'll take it from here, Matthew. Thank you. And we'll be keeping tabs on that meeting throughout the night.